Hi guys, welcome back to Top Tips Graphics. It's me, Ramis, in front of you. Sorry, today I'm in just behind the camera for presenting you the third series of Illustrator tutorial in a detailed manner. So let's start. So guys, in the last two video tutorial, we discussed about the selection tool and the direct selection tool in the toolbar of the Adobe Illustrator. So in this video tutorial, we are going to discussing about the remaining selection tools in the toolbar. The other type of selection tool coming next after the direct selection tools are group selection tool, magic wand tool and the lasso tool. Also I will give you more ideas about the selection menus in the Adobe Illustrator. I think it's better to take a pre-made vector designs as a sample for explaining these tools in the Adobe Illustrator. Also it will make you easy for understanding the functions of these tools. So for that, here I am using a vector file graphic designs which I downloaded from the freepick.com. So guys, I am not extending my introduction. Let's go through our today's topic. First of all, let's open the Adobe Illustrator software. Then open the ready-made vector graphics by clicking here in the open button. Here I am selecting this designs which I had saved in the desktop. It's a vector designs of a group of illustration birds. When we select these designs with the selection tool, here you can see that the wall designs are in a single group. That is, inside that single group there's a many subgroups and inside that are subgroups there is a many other groups and reach up to the individual objects. For more clarification let's open the layer panel from the windows menu as shown here. From this layer panel you can get to know that how many subgroups are included in this main group and how many further groups are included in these subgroups. For that just click over this small arrow icon so you will get the subgroup of the main group. If you repeat this process until the end you can reach up to the basic object of these designs by going through many subgroups. Now let's come to the functions of the group selection tool. For example, if we need to modify or edit the beak of the parrot which is inside the many group without ungrouping the designs, we have to use the group selection tool. That is, here we are going to change the position or the angle of the beak of this parrot. If we are using selection tool for this process, here we have to go through many process. That is, if we select the designs with the selection tool, the whole design will be selected because they are grouped designs. So here we have to ungroup by clicking right mouse button as shown here. In each ungrouping we will get into the inner group and we have to repeat this process until getting our particular group separately as shown here. So if you are following this process we have to regroup again for getting the designs in the previous mode. So what is the solution for selecting inner group of a designs without ungrouping? Here we comes to our group selection tool. So group selection tool is a tool used for selecting a particular group or objects inside a main group without ungrouping the design. Now let's undo all the process we had been done and go through the group selection tool. For selecting the group selection tool, just click and hold the direct selection tool in the menu bar. So you will get the group selection tool icon just under the direct selection tool. The icon of the group selection tool is similar to the direct selection tool with plus sign under the white arrow icon. Once you selected the group selection tool, just click the object of the group that you need to edit or modify. Here the basic object is selected, that is a single object of the beak is selected. If you click over the same object again, the first group of that object will be selected. And if you click again, the second group of the first group will be selected. And again if you click over the same object, the third group of the second group will be selected. And if you repeat this process of clicking using the group selection tool, you can select up to the complete group from the basic object selection. That is, we can select any particular group without ungrouping the whole group of the design. Now here we are going to edit the beak of the parrot using the group selection tool. For that, firstly just deselect the selected group and choose the group selection tool. Then click over the object of the beak. If you click twice, you will get the beak group selected. Now just choose the selection tool and you can change the position of the beak. Also here I am changing the color of the selected group as shown here. So guys, I hope that you understand the main functions of the group selection tool. Another functions of the group selection tool is that we can select any object in the designs and move the position or edit without ungrouping the grouped design. 
Here you can see I am just selecting the head of the hen by clicking and dragging using the group selection tool. So here all the objects included in that virtual boxes are selected and we can move as per our wish. Also note that this process we are doing without unboxing the design. Also we can convert the direct selection tool into group selection tool while using the direct selection tool by just pressing and holding the alt key as shown here. And if we release the alt key again the group selection tool will be back to direct selection tool. So guys here we completed the functions of the group selection tool. Now let's move to the magic wand tool. Now let's describe about the magic wand tool. For that let's close these designs. Now here I am opening another zip designs with the multi color and the multi shapes. So just open this designs which I had saved here. Here you can see the multi colored designs with different colors and the shapes. Also there are many objects with the different stroke thickness and also with the different opacity. Opacity is the transparency of the objects. The percentage of the opacity you can adjust from this option. Also there are many objects with the different stroke colors. So let's come to our point. What's the role of magic wand tool in this design? So if you are getting a designs with the multi color like this and if we need to select a number of objects or designs which have the same property from different position of the designs it's very difficult. In such a situations we are using this magic wand tool. For an example if we need to select all the yellow filled color objects from this wall designs what will we do? In usual cases we will select the each objects by using the selection tool or the direct selection tool by pressing and holding the shift key for getting the multi objects. But it's not practical for every designs. There we comes to our magic wand tool. So magic wand tool is a type of selection tool in Adobe Illustrator which is used to select multi objects in the wall designs having the same property. This is the magic wand tool which is placed just under the selection tool in the toolbar. Also we can enable the magic wand tool by pressing the short key letter Y. So on using the magic wand tool first of all we have to set the properties of the objects that we are going to select from the wall design. For that just double click over the magic wand tool. So thus you will get your settings options with the different properties of objects in the design. The properties are fill color, stroke color or border color, stroke thickness, opacity of the objects and the blending mode. As an example now we are going to select all the yellow fill color objects in the design. For that just enable the fill color properties in the settings. And I would like to suggest you one thing that always keep the tolerance as zero for getting the perfect results. Otherwise instead of the same colors similar colors also will be selected. Once we finish the settings just to select the magic wand tool and select the particular objects that we need to select. Here you can see that once I select the yellow object all the object which have the same fill colors are also selected. Now we can edit all the objects having the yellow fill color. Also here you can note that even though all the fill colors are same there were difference in the stroke colors and the opacity of the objects. It's just because that we enable only the fill colors in the properties. Now here I am changing all the yellow colors into green color. Now let's look for the next properties of the magic wand tool that is stroke color properties. If we need to select all the objects in the designs based on the stroke color we have to enable the stroke color properties and disable all other properties. Also make the tolerance to zero as I said before. After that just to select the magic wand tool and select any object having the particular stroke color. Here I am selecting an object having the black stroke color. So all the objects having the black stroke colors are selected. Here you can note that only the stroke color will be the same and all other properties such as fill color, opacity, stroke thickness will be different in the selected objects. Then here I am changing the stroke color into blue from the black color. Here every black stroke is changed into blue color. Now let's enable the next properties of the magic wand tool that is stroke thickness. Just enable the stroke white and make the tolerance to zero. Here in this option you can see the thickness of the stroke. 
Then just to select the magic wand tool and select any object with particular stroke thickness. Here I click over the object having the stroke point 5. Now here you can see that all the objects having the stroke point 5s are selected. But all having different fill colors and different stroke colors. But all of them are having the stroke of 5 point. Now let's move to the another properties of magic wand tool. That is opacity of the object. So just enable the opacity here and make the tolerance as 0. Also you can check the opacity of the object from this option. If we select this object here you can see the transparency of the object is 60% opacity. And if we select that object using the magic wand tool having the 60% opacity all the objects having the same opacity will be selected. Here also if you are noting the other properties of the magic wand tool all its vary from each other. In the same way here I selected an object having a 48% opacity. So all the other objects having the same opacity are also selected. Another option coming under the magic wand tool is the blending mode. That is if our designs contains any gradient effects same gradient effect will be selected by enabling this property in the magic wand tool. Also we can enable the multi properties of magic wand tool. For an example here I am enabling the fill color and the opacity in these settings. And here I selected this blue fill colored object having the opacity of 60%. So all the objects having both that properties will be selected together. So guys these are the main functions of the magic wand tool. Also these all functions we can get it from the selection menu also. So for getting selection menu go to the menu bar. Here you will get the select option. When you go through the select menu you will get much more options for selecting the objects in the designs. The first option in the select menu is all. On selecting that you could be able to select the full designs in the pages. Next option is all in active board. If you select that options all the designs inside the artboard will be selected and those objects outside the board artboard will be deselected. Another option coming in the selection menus are deselect. That is just to deselect the selected objects in the designs. That we can do in a simple way by just clicking outside the selected object also. Next option coming in the selection menu is inverse. That is if we select any object and apply the inverse option from the menu the selected object will be deselected and the other object will be selected as shown here. Next option coming in the selection menus are next object above and the next object below. It's the selection of the object above the layers or the below the layers. It's not much important option so I am just leaving that option. And the main option coming under the selection menu is the same. This is the type of selection similar to that of the magic wand tool. Also from here you will get much more options for selecting the objects. And you will get perfect result on using this menu for selecting the objects. For an example here I will show you how to use the same option in the selection menu for the selecting the objects. For that first of all we have to select any particular object by using the selection tool or direct selection tool. Here I selected an object having the green fill color and the black stroke colors. Also its stroke thickness is 0.2. Then go to the select menu and from same option select the fill and stroke as shown here. So here you can see that the objects having the green fill color and the black stroke with the stroke thickness 0.2 are all selected. In the same way you can use all the properties of the select menu in variant situation. Here I am also trying the selection with the same opacity. Also guys I am suggesting you to use this same menu than that of the magic wand tool for getting the more perfections and the more options. So guys here we completed almost options in the select menu. Now let's move to another selection tool that is lasso tool. The next selection tool coming after the magic wand tool is lasso tool. It is placed next after the magic wand tool in the toolbar. Also we can enable the lasso tool by pressing the short key letter Q. 
Lasso tool is the free handed selection tool. That is the tool used to select any particular objects or any anchor points with our free hand. That is, if we need to select any particular object or anchor points from a narrow or complicated area, it's difficult to select by using other type of selection tool. In such a situation, we are using the lasso tool. For an example, if we need to select this ring object separately, it's very difficult to select with any other tool. So just to select the lasso tool and you can click and drag the cursor in freehand style around the ring and just to release the mouse button. Here that particular area or the objects are selected very freely. In such a way lasso tool will be very useful in many complicated designs for selecting the objects. Also if we press and hold the shift key while using the lasso tool you can select many multi complicated objects very easily. So guys here we completed almost all the functions of the tools for selecting the objects in Adobe Illustrator. So in the next video tutorial let's come with another important tool in Illustrator that is pen tool. So if you are waiting for my next video tutorial don't forget to subscribe our channel and press bell icon for getting the latest notification. Thank you.